well, 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 now, what do we have here? A trophy common snook. Not bad. Hey, I'll show you guys how you can catch trophy common snook and unique common snook, as well as red drum, here in the Everglades in Florida in Fishing Planet. Greetings and salutations guys, Jake Vegas here with Jake Vegas Digital and today we are gonna do some fishing down in the Florida Everglades in Fishing Planet. Now before we get started I want to go ahead and show you guys my rig here. Today we're gonna be fishing for snook and we're gonna try for trophy and unique snook and in addition to that we're gonna fish for some red drum as well. So let me, get, uh, let me go ahead and show you guys exactly what kind of setup I'm using here. Take these crawfish off as I did not have any luck with them um, fishing for the snook and the red drum. So first off, I'm going to start off fishing for snook. And I want to get the trophies. So I'm going to start off with uh, large minnows. Okay, and this is the large minnow here. I get my, I put my depth at about 40 inches. And the hook size, I've had luck with both. Uh, both four odd size hooks and six odd size hooks for the uh, for the trophy snook. I haven't caught a unique yet, but it works for the trophies, and I know the uniques are out there. Are out there, so uh, we're gonna try to catch some of those as well, guys. As far as my rod and reel setup goes, I've got my Phoenix or Phoenix, however you want to pronounce it, 14 foot 10 inch pole, can handle about five to 22 pounds. Uh, test and it uh the lure weight it actually does not say on here hmm, interesting okay and i've got my fat boy spin 4000 on the uh on the rod and that has a capacity of 20 pound mono line or 30 pound all the way up to 30 pound braided line and it's got a max drag of 15.4 pounds now the rod seems pretty decent for uh, catching the snook. When you get them on, they can get rather large. I've caught them, uh, you know, like anywhere from, I want to say, uh, all the way down from about like seven or eight pounds all the way up to about 18, 15, 18 pounds, somewhere in that area. So you're going to want, uh, you're going to want something, a rod and reel setup that can handle fish of that size. The 15.4 pound max drag has worked out for me um but I, it could even stand to be a little bit higher if uh, if you guys have the money to afford that kind of equipment and right now i'm fishing i believe i've got 20 pound tests on here let me check my line real quick um uh, it doesn't say doesn't say i'm definitely not not using the 7.5 pound braid this is um this is this is 20 pound test. It's a it's a braided line, uh, but you can get away with monofilament or floral line. Um, positive, this is 20 pound. It's nothing less. It's nothing higher. I just thought I might have had more of it in here in my inventory to show you guys. Anyway, um, we're also going to uh, float with the or uh, <laughs> fish with them. Fish for them. Jeez, bleh. fish for them with lures. Um, so I go ahead and I got my uh, River Tech Salmon Master. Now this particular rod came with an anniversary pack that a subscriber sent to me as a gift. And uh, I want to thank you again for that anniversary pack. Very kind of you. But I'm not sure if it's available in game. The same thing with the reel. They both came with the anniversary pack. They're heavy duty. Uh, actually, they're extra heavy as you can see here. And so I don't know if they come in the game or any if, if this particular rod comes in the game or not I'm not certain but these are the specs and uh, if you don't have the anniversary pack or any rods that are extra heavy this is what you're going to want you're going to want to get something at least comparable to the Salmon Master this one is an extra heavy rod uh, can handle line weight from 15 up to 42 pounds now I have heard of the 
I've heard of the schnook, the unique schnook in here getting up to around 40 pounds. So you're going to want a rod that can handle bigger fish if you're fishing for the snook and even the red drum out here. Um, cause and tarpon too, cause tarpon get rather large and you may get one of those on the line in addition to, uh, snooks and red drums. Now, as far as a reel goes, you're going to want something comparable to the Redfish 4500. Uh, it's got a capacity of 20 pound line uh, all the way up to 30 pound braid. And this one has a max drag of 35 pounds. Now that's a big, that's a lot of max drag. Um, and even the fish, sometimes when I get a big schnook or a big tarpon on the line, uh, it doesn't seem to max out my reel, but I would probably recommend um, if you can't get a, a reel that has this high of a max drag on it, I would try to recommend getting something probably at least 20 to 25 pounds. Um, 20 probably the bare minimum. You should be okay at about 25 pounds fishing for these uh, larger fish out there. So I got this rod and reel. Again, this one actually has a 30 pound line on it. I have 30 pound braided line on it. And the lures that I'm fishing for these are the medium casting spoons. Uh, pretty much that's it. During the day, medium casting spoon here, the yellow, I believe it's called the yellow lemon tiger here. Uh, right, lemon tiger and the red tiger. Both of these two medium spoons tend to work out relatively well uh, for snooks, tarpon, and even red drum out here. Today we're focusing on snooks and red drum though. So with all that said, guys, uh, let's go ahead and get to fishing. So I spawned in here at the Salty Delta. It's the only spawn point on the right-hand side of the map. And on the dock, I'm on the left-hand side of the dock. And as you can see out here, there's a bunch of kind of sticks sticking out of the water. And you can see the trees out there. It looks like you can see the roots of the trees. I cast out towards that area um a little bit off in the distance there i've got my large minnows on here with a four rod hook right now depth at about 40 and we're just gonna let it sit out there now something to keep in mind is that there are not only are there snooks looks like we got something dinging our bell right now not only are there snooks out here but there are tarpon out here as well and both fish seem to bite the same kind of baits so when you get a fish on out here, you could either have most likely a snook or a tarpon on the line. We got a fish on. Let's go ahead and reel this guy in and see what we got. Now, preferably I'd like to catch tarpon. Uh, tarpon do pay uh, quite a bit more than the snooks do. Snooks really unfortunately don't pay that much money, but I would be happy if I got a trophy or a unique snook even. I haven't caught a unique yet. I've caught some trophies, but not a unique snook yet. I'd like to get uh, either one of those if it's not a tarpon on the line and see what we got. When we can get this here fish in. We'll see what it is. Looks like it's a snook, I think. Kind of hard to tell with that uh, sunlight out there shining in your eyes early in the morning. But once we get this thing in, we will be able to tell naturally what kind of fish it is. Again, it does look like a snook to me. It's kind of got the long snout that a snook has. And yep, this is definitely a snook. And it is only an eight pounder. Look at that, an eight pounder with only $200. So really not, not the greatest for money. This is a little guy though. This is a real little snook right here. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and keep him. I got plenty of room on my stringer, so I'll put him on it. So going to cast right back out to that general area out there, as you can see. You can see fish jumping out there. Whether or not those are snook or tarpon or just some kind of bait fish, I'm not sure. The ones that are jumping out there in the water. But around that area is where you want to cast to. Now, I've had luck anywhere between 100 feet and about 160 feet. Right now, we're at 153 feet out there. And we'll see if any of those tarpon or snooks will uh, bite on this here large minnow. Now guys, on a side note here, I am really trying to uh, grow my channel, so if you guys enjoyed this video or find it helpful, giving it a like sure would help me out. 
And if you're somebody who wants to stay up to date on future content, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. I release content quite frequently. Looks like we got a fish hitting our hitting our bobber right now. I release content uh, pretty much every day, sometimes every other day. We got a fish on. So if you like what you see or it's helped you out, please click like. You want to stay up to date, please subscribe. And uh, Jake Vegas from Jake Vegas Digital here would greatly appreciate it. Let's see what kind of fish we got when we get this thing in. It feels like it's got a lot of fight to it. Oh yeah, this definitely is not a common snook. Might be a common tarpon or just a regular tarpon. Not sure what they referred to as. But whatever it is, it is large. Look at that, pulling that drag out. It does not want to come in here. I got that sun burning in my eyes here. Good way to start the morning with a big fish. Hopefully we can get it in and on board. Whatever it is, it is a big one. It's got some strength, guys. It's got some strength. Does not want to come in whatsoever. Yep, it is just pulling and pulling. Luckily, it's not ripping my drag. This is a pretty decent setup for the fish out here. It does, uh, like I was saying, I'm going to mention in the uh, early part of this video when I record that portion that these fish are uh, pretty big. They can get pretty big out here, and this reel could stand to be a little bit higher grade in order to fight these guys. The tarpons and the snook and the red drum out here. We will see. Uh, we will see just how big this bad boy is and what it is when we get it in. That tugging and pulling, tugging and pulling. It does not want to come in. It wants to stay in its uh, wants to stay in its watery home out there. Starting to come in a little bit now, though. Oh, yep. Got him held there at about mid teens, hundred hundred and uh, eighteen right now. He is splashing out there. I'm guessing this is probably, probably a snook, probably a trophy snook. I don't, uh, the few tarpon that I've caught so far don't, they fight a bit differently than the snook do. And this to me right now feels more like it's a snook. It's diving deep there, man. Pulling and pulling. Doesn't want to come in, but we're getting it closer, guys. We're getting it closer. We've got it about, we've got it about halfway in from where it was at earlier. Slowly but surely, we're getting this bad boy in. That is one thing. If you're down here in Florida, you will notice that there is, there is a bird in the background. That one right there. Is what I'm talking to, talking about, and uh, it can be annoying at times. Um, me, I feel it kind of adds to the nature aspect, but sometimes when you're out here, you're not catching anything. That bird starts chirping, and it gets uh, it can get annoying. Let's see, we almost got this guy in here. Let's see what it is. I'm really thinking snook. Really thinking snook. Let me see what it is. Yep, it is a snook. What size are you? Holy cow, a 19-pound trophy common snook. Not bad, not bad. Uh, like I said, they don't pay very well compared to the other fish in here. $491. They're kind of comparable to pay to catfish, if you ask me. Big fish that don't pay very well, but if you want to catch them, they are here. And uh, we caught this one off the large minnow out there by those trees off in the distance. Now you can catch them off the large minnow and the different live bait, the uh, the snooks. I'm going to try, uh, they also hit lures. They also hit lures and right now I've got the Lemon Tiger one and a half ounce lure with the four rod hook on there. I cast it as far out as I can go. There's You can't really tell because the sun is blocking it, but there's a group of trees out there. You can see the reflection in the water where my rod is pointing. I cast this out here. I reel it in at a steady retrieve. Um, usually fairly close to the bottom, and I will catch anything, uh, either either snooks 
or well we got a fish on man that thing hit that lure look at that I catch either snooks out there or tarpon out there off this lure thing is it seems like that both the tarpon and the snook seem to hit the same kind of lures and baits so you never really know what you got on the line until you get it up close and personal to you let's see what we got here let's see what we got here once we get this bad boy in Let's get this guy up here. What do we have here? Boom, look at that. Another trophy common snook. It is a new personal record for me, 25 pounds, $637. Again, not much money, but hey, a trophy's a trophy, right? I'll take it. Look at that guy. I guess that's a nice looking fish. I'm not sure, I've never caught a snook before. Never been uh, saltwater fishing. It's all right though, we'll go ahead and keep them and put them on the stringer. All right, so a little bit later in the day, actually quite a bit later in the day, and I switched it up to fishing for the drum. Now, the drum that I've discovered are on the right-hand side, still at the Salty Delta spawn point, um, kind of out there to the right of the middle, if that makes any sense, to the right of the open channel out there. You can see where my rod is pointing. It's out in there, probably anywhere from about 90 to 120 feet in that area. I've caught drum. I've had the most success off of the shrimp, which I'm using right now on a four-aught hook. And hold on one second. Just got to adjust that real quick. But I've had luck. Uh, looks like we got something hitting it a little bit right now. Trying to pull it under. Oh, nope, not yet. That was just a ding. That was just a ding. Give it a little bit of time here. For it to take under. Uh, I've heard they hit shiners and large cut bait, medium cut bait. I've tried those baits. Shiners did work for me. Had a little bit of difficulty with the cut baits, but so far the shrimp has worked real well. Come on, you're hitting it. Just take take that bait under, big boy. Come on, take it under, boy. Take it under, and we'll go ahead and hook it. Hopefully, if it, there we go. Got a fish on. Go ahead and reel this one in to see what it is. Most likely a drum. I have caught a few schnook out in that area. Not many though. Most likely my guess is that this is a that this is a red drum. And the red drum do tend to pay a bit better than the than the snook anyway. I'd rather have a red drum on my line. We are out here fishing for these guys i have my leader still set to 40 inches 40 inches deep is what my leader set at with the shrimp and these red red drum get rather large too i think they get even larger than the snook do so keep that in mind gotta have the right equipment to come out here guys definitely gotta have the right equipment to fight these larger fish holding them steady out there He's not, not getting too terribly far from us, which is a good thing. But that also means he might be a smaller drum. We're not going to know. Not going to know until we bring him in. Look at him splashed out there. He splashed out there. That's awesome. Kind of cool when these fish break water. He did it again right there. Large fish we got on here, guys. Large fish. Right, he's starting to come in a little bit there, picking it back up. I figured he would. Like any of the other fish in this game, or even in reality, they do not want to come up to shore. They will do anything they can to stay in their nice little home of water out there. Unfortunately for this guy, we are going to be able to bring him in. It looks like got him up to 22 feet. 
Let's go ahead and reel them in a bit further. What do we got here? That's a drum, I can tell you that right now. Boom, it is a 16 pounder red drum. And if you see that 16 pound red drum we got here, pays just about as much as that uh, as one of those trophy snooks that were uh, close to 20 pounds. So keep that in mind. We'll go ahead and keep this guy. We'll go ahead and put him on the stringer. All right, so it's a little bit later. Well, actually, not a little bit, quite a bit later. We are in the evening hours, 7 o'clock p.m. I've caught snook. I've caught trophy snook. I've caught red drum. I'm back to uh, trying to fish for the the trophy snook again, and I've got uh, I've got a red tiger medium casting spoon, one and a half ounce here, late in the evening. We'll see if we can pull in another trophy, maybe even a unique snook uh, might be out there. I haven't caught a unique yet. I would really, really like to catch one of those things. It would be a nice addition to this video. Nope, oh, we got a fish on. Look at that. They hit, man. When these when these snook, this might be a tarpon, though, too. Could be tarpon. Tarpon are out there as well. They hit me medium casting spoons as well. In addition, whatever. We got a fish on, and it feels like a decent-sized one. Could be a tarpon or a snook. We don't know yet. We'll see when we get it in here. This rod is great, guys. If you guys need equipment that is rather large, really helps out pulling in these bigger fish. This looks like a snook, probably a trophy snook. Let's go ahead and see what we got here. What are you? Holy cow, look at that. All right. Yes, I got myself my first unique common snook. Look at that guy. That is a big fish right there. Big fish. Almost 30 pounds, guys. Almost 30 pounds. Almost as big as a big old flathead catfish that you get out of Naren River. $750. Doesn't pay the greatest. I know, I know. But still, a unique is a unique, right? We'll go ahead. We'll go ahead and take this guy and put him on the stringer. Nice. All right, so I have caught, uh, caught my unique snook. <laughs> Which I'm pretty proud of. Now I'm gonna go back for the red drum here. I've heard they call they go after lures as well. And that uh, reading up here real quick, I just want to make sure see if they're bottom feeders rather than uh, you know regular top or shallow feeders and whatnot. Looks like judging by this that they are bottom finger feeders. And I've got my yellow casting spoon on again. So we're gonna give that a try. It says they go for medium casting spoons. We're gonna give it a try. And I'm going to cast, I think, uh, I think out there looks good. I know that the drummer out in that area. I'm going to just cast out there. Going to going to try reeling it in since they're bottom feeders. I'm going to go ahead and try to keep the lure as close to the bottom and do, uh, I probably, you know what? I'm just going to do, I'm going to do like a lift and drop stop and go here at a steady, steady lift and drop stop and go. We'll see. If that entices uh, the bottom feeding red drum into biting this lure, just gonna work it just like that. See if we have any luck with this. First time for me fishing lures for the red drum. It's starting to get dark outside. Sun is starting to set out here in Florida. We got a fish on. Look at that. Look at that. Like like I said earlier, there are uh, snook out there too. Actually, there's pretty much snook all over this part of the lake here in the Salty Delta. You can't get away from them. And it looks like the snook hit just about the same baits. starting to get dark outside. Just about the same baits that the uh, tarpon and the drum do. But we will see what we have here on the line once we get them in. Looking like, I can't tell actually, looking like a drum. It's looking like a drum. What do we got here? Another 16-pound drum. Not bad, not bad. Uh, not the best way to end the episode. Not all that exciting, but it's all right. We got ourselves a red drum. There you go. There you guys go. If you didn't know how to, now you know how to catch trophy and unique snook as well as red drum. Guys, concluding this episode here, you know the drill. If you guys enjoyed this video, shoot that like button. If you want to stay up to date on future content and haven't done so, please subscribe. I'm Jake Vegas with Jake Vegas Digital. Thanks for watching. Keep on fishing in the free world, and we will see you next time.